The trade deadline's just not what it used to be, man. No one ever gets traded anymore. Well, so much for that. We've already had three trades this morning, two involving one Canadian team. Let's talk about it. The first one was the Ottawa Senators trading Vlad Nemesnikov over to the Colorado Avalanche for a fourth round pick. Not bad for Ottawa. Tidy little bit of work. He played for them during the season. You gotta ice a team, and they get back the fourth rounder that they essentially paid for him to begin with. And Colorado needed depth forwards because Ask producer Drew, they keep getting hurt. Super jacked about it. He's not. Now over to the big ones, and this is what I used to love about the trade deadline. I'm sick of a month ahead of time, we know who's gonna move and we know who's in on them. It's down to like three teams, right? Jean-Gabriel Pajot, yeah, yeah, we've had that name out there forever. He might resign, he might not resign. Oh, okay, they're probably gonna trade him. Bang! The Islanders come out of nowhere to grab him and for a king's ransom. A first, a second, and a third. Most importantly, that first rounder is in 2020. The Ottawa Senators already have two first rounders for this upcoming draft. They have their own, they have the Sharks, which has a real possibility of being a disaster for the Sharks. And Lou was smart to top three protect this for the Islanders. But if they miss the playoffs, can you imagine a situation where Ottawa picks first, second, and fourth. It's super unlikely, but not impossible. If you just rolled your eyes and said, come on, there's no way that's gonna happen, what are the chances? Well, what are the chances of a 42-year-old Zamboni driver winning an NHL game? They're good. They're surprisingly good. That guy plays Friday Night Hockey with my cousin. <laughs> that doesn't make me feel better about it, it's just another thing for the therapist. Anyway, I've argued for a while that at some point when it comes to a rebuild, doesn't matter what team it is, but with the Senators, you've got to, <laughs> eventually ice a team. At some point, the deconstruction has to stop. But if you're not gonna be able to re-sign a player, in this case, the Sens didn't think they were gonna be able to keep Peugeot, you gotta get as much as you can for them, and they did. <laughs> They're in the top wildcard spot in the East right now, which is super important for this next trade. Vincent Trocek, fascinating player, seemed like can't miss. He had a 25 goal season, over 50 points. Next year, 23 goal season, over 50 points. The next season, eclipses 30 goals, 75 points. Since then, it's been a bit of a struggle. Last season, just 10 goals in 55 games, 34 points. This season, at the 55 game mark, 10 goals, 36 points, so he's on the up and up. But it's that 30 goal potential that has to have Carolina excited. They did it before with Nino Nita Ryder. They might have just got another one. In return, the Florida Panthers, who are right in the thick of the playoff race, they lose one of their top centers, but they gain four pieces. So it's a little bit confusing looking at what they're doing. They get Eric Halla, Nice depth piece. Lucas Walmark, again, nice depth piece, and two prospects out of this. They recently made a trade with the Leafs where they traded Dennis Mulligan, who's played almost 200 NHL games, for Mason Marchment, who is both older than Mulligan and has played basically no NHL time. A lot of head scratching going on in hockey Twitter. I wonder if Florida has something else planned. Are they going to take all these pieces and deal them for something else? Or is Dale Talon just a Crazy genius. <laughs> Never a dull moment with Dale Town, that's for sure. So, that's the first three of the morning. Obviously, we can't go too long on account of Drew's got to edit a bunch of more uh, videos today there, Drew. You looking forward to it there, bud? Well, I'm going to shut up. I'll shut up. So that is it for this one. Thank you very much for watching. Click like if you like this video. Click subscribe if you really liked it. Tell all your friends and leave a comment in the comment box down below. What was your favorite trade out of all the ones I just mentioned? How do you think Ottawa did? And what do you think of the arms race going on with the two wildcard teams in the East, the Hurricanes and the Islanders?